Hello guys, this is Ashish from HWIFX. I am again uh, available in front of you guys with another video. This video is going to be on liquidity type of, there are different types of liquidity, but in this video we particularly type on BSL and CSSL. Okay, uh, let me tell you here BSL is buy side liquidity and SSL is sell side what we say liquidity okay so let me correct it okay so how where uh, BSL and SSL reside so let me tell you guys how this liquidity is reside okay so let's have an example over here if we have BSL always lie above the swing high okay so let's see we have a swing high like this and this is a swing high okay and let's see we have a swing high like this three candles okay ah very bad i'm sorry i'm very bad on in art okay so let's see let's see let's see let's see why it is happening like this okay swing high swing high like this then okay okay no problem then okay here this is one another candle okay then let's make another candle here so okay now it's very hard for me uh okay so let's see this is a swing high why this is a swing high i already did a last video over here because swing high is when second candle is the highest followed by the first and third candle okay first and third candle is always the low from the second candle that is a swing high so what happened on the swing high this is our mentality if market is selling let's see market is selling from here market starts selling so all those highs which are uh, forming in the market people put their stop losses over there because people think okay now the trend is bearish so obviously market is not going to go there okay but what all market makers do let me tell you when there is stop loss when there is a stop lot it means there is money so all these stop losses are here in the form of buy side liquidity okay we or above the buy side liquidity is always uh, above the swing high okay what happens in the market over here whenever market tries to go above that so a lot of breakout traders think that okay this is a breakout and they buy but what market makers do they close within the range and then sell okay so this is buy side liquidity okay and if we talk about sell side liquidity let me tell you guys here let's see we have an example of sell side liquidity here so if we have three candles okay same thing is that first candle should be first and third candles should be higher than the second candle okay because this will be the swing low so below this swing low a lot of liquidity in the form of stop losses are there okay so in a lot of liquidity is there okay and then what happened here what people think whenever there is a fake breakout all the breakout traders think okay market is selling now so they sell after the breakout or they have a lot of orders over here okay They have a lot of orders on the breakout so when market break it so they will uh, their orders will be activated and all the sell orders will be activated so that's why what market makers do they do a fake breakout and then close within the range and then buy so they grab all the sell side liquidity so now let me show you the live example in the market how they do all that okay so let's see we are on the gold daily chart 
so if we see here what is happening here if you see this was swing high okay this was all time high what market makers did even gold is very bullish so but what they did okay if you see here what they did they gave a fake breakout if we go to one hour let's see we are on the one hour time frame okay so what they did if you see here properly they did a fake breakout okay and then a retest over here and they showed a small reaction as well okay but what happened then they broke it to the downside with a very nice fair value gap and the sell so what happened here they took all these stop losses here which were in the form of liquidity for sellers they kill them and all the breakout buyers who are trying to buy here they killed them as well so they took all the buy side liquidity over here and then they sell off okay and now let's go again to the daily time frame so what after after what they did let me show you here when they sold from here if you see when they sold from here what they did they again found the liquidity here in the form of swing low if you see this was again liquidity here a lot of liquidity here in the form of buyers and lot of sell orders are here as a breakout trader so if you see what they did they broke it they broke it properly so a lot of traders will think okay this is a very nice breakout and they will start selling here so what they did they kill all the buyers who were putting their stop loss below this swing low and then all these sellers over here in the form of sell side liquidity who are a breakout traders they did it and then again they started going up okay they went up if you see okay and after that what they target then they again targeted this this is again swing high then from here they started going up targeted this liquidity because a lot of sellers are they have put their stop loss here and there are a lot of buyers in the form of buyers okay so they took a lot of buy side liquidity here bsl okay and they killed a lot of sellers over here as well and then again they came back again if you see okay if you see they again came down okay and then went up whatever you see if you see this this was a breakout okay breakout came back to the here take again liquidity in the form of imbalance which is internal liquidity then go up then came back here again okay and then again took this swing low then go up then came down okay then go up same time market is doing the same thing again and again so market is either let me tell you market either moves from uh how to say liquidity to liquidity or liquidity to f v g which is fair value gap so always remember market either travels from liquidity to liquidity or liquidity to inefficiency which is fair value gap market always does two things so we need to understand properly where is buy side and where is sell side if you see here this was sell side let me just describe you okay this was buy side just focus okay guys just focus what i'm telling okay again let me tell you this is sell side here then price took sell side then went on inefficiency over here this was inefficiency okay and then sold then again market took sell side here then went again up to this breaker over here if you see okay then again sold sold for what 
sold for this swing low which is sell side okay then again went up to this order block okay because order blocks order block was having a lot of imbalance over here and there was a lot of liquidity as well here in the form of buy side liquidity then sell off again in the form of sell side liquidity to kill the uh, buyers over here and kill the breakout traders over here and then went up up where to the buy side liquidity okay then came down okay then again if you see this is again buy side liquidity here and came down then went up then price again took buy side liquidity here all a lot of buyers are inducing here then price came back to the inefficiency here okay and then went up and uh, next week what can happen let's see okay so this was uh, about buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity always remember buy side resides above the swing high and sell side resides below the swing low so whenever market is either going to take buy side okay market either is going to take buy side liquidity or market is going to take sell side liquidity or market is going to an inefficiency okay market is going for an inefficiency to balance the price so market either do these things so you need you need to look properly market moves liquidity to liquidity or liquidity to inefficiency or fvg or fvg to liquidity or liquidity to or fvg to fvg so let let me uh, write it properly let me write it properly so you need to understand let me tell you either market travel liquidity to liquidity or liquidity to fvg or fvg to fvg or fvg to liquidity so these are only two three things for price does okay some people call it internal and external we call it external liquidity is buy side and sell side internal liquidity is imbalance fair value gap or inefficiency okay so it's up to you what name you want to put inside that but the thing what market is doing it's always taking external liquidity to internal internal to external external to internal that's it there is nothing market does apart from that so we just need to look it properly and align the different different time frames like daily four hour one hour and then we shoot on 15 minute and we get a very good trade so that is uh, about buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity so i hope you guys will find some uh, idea about buy side and sell side so if you have any question kindly uh, comment on the comment section and i'll try to answer those questions so okay have a great day ahead everyone and we will see you in the next video take care bye bye